Morning, we're up early in the morning. It's a beautiful view over there, isn't there, George? So we've come up to see Dave and Rachel. They invite us up here. We're just outside Newcastle, up north. Um, and we are gonna have a day four by four driving. And Dave has got a Shogun. There we go. So we are gonna do some videos. We are gonna go off-roading with the Shogun and the Stig. And we're gonna compare the vehicles. We'll do a video on that. And we're gonna have a tug of war as well. So we are gonna get into the field now. And then, now Dave's gonna win, I think, because he's got knobblier tires but the Stig's got the awesome high-tech traction control system and we've got the grass mode, so hopefully that'll help us. So we're now gonna do the tug of war. So let's go and have a look at the two cars and the setup we've got here. So we have got the Land Rover Defender. So we've got four wheel drive. We've got it in low ratio mode. We haven't got monster knobbly tires. We have got all terrain tires, which are compromised for road and we're on wet grass. We are gonna select the grass mode we have got it in low ratio. Now on this car, we haven't got the locking rear diff, but we've got the locking central diff. So we'll check that locks, but it should do in grass mode anyway. Right, so we have got 300 brake horsepower and we are 2.2 tons. Weight could play a factor in this and we are slightly heavier than Dave's Pajero slash Shogun. So let's go and take a look at the Shogun. So we have got gloves. We've done it slightly differently. So when one of the gloves passes the central marker, you have one, right? So we have got the second glove here. So there we go. We've got it through the pin here. Right, so this is the Mitsubishi Shogun. This is diesel, ours is petrol. He's 3.2 litres, we're two litres. But he's, he's had his chip, so he's got 240 brake horsepower and we've got 300, so we've got more brake horsepower. This is 2.1 tons, so we've got the weight advantage as well. But Dave's secret weapon, and it could be a big one, are his knobbly tyres. So the knobbly tyres, obviously the limiting factor here is going to be grip on the grass. So there we go, George has got the drone up in the sky. He's filming as well. So we are going to start it. So Rachel has got the horn, so she is going to start us off. And then when one of the gloves passes the marker, Let's see who wins. Let's give it a first go. Right, here we go. In the Land Rover, we've got a select um, grass, gravel, snow. So there we go, we're already, we're in low ratio. So we're now gonna select drive and see if we can pull Dave. We all ready? ready? We're ready. Oh. <laughs> right, we didn't move. Did the earth move for you, Dave? No. No, no. So, yeah, so the wet grass is just, there is, there's just not enough traction. Even with Dave's big tyres, even with my traction control, how does Matt Watson do it? How does he make the cars move? Let's have a look, see what we've, we've literally, I mean, it is, it's like trying to do a tug of war on an ice rink, really. If you think about it, imagine two tug, two teams tugging a war on an ice rink. You just can't grip your feet. Um, so, so there, I don't know is we haven't embarrassed either of us, but tug of war, I don't think we can do it. Disaster. Right, so have a look at Dave's car. So although he's got the chunky tyres, look, they've just filled up with mud. So now he's actually virtually on slicks. Um, <laughs> so he might actually be at a disadvantage. Some of these knobbly tyres, once they've filled up, and look, that's absolutely smooth. And he's dug a better hole than me. So his tyres have done the job, but they've gone through the grass, filled up with mud, and then they're, they're as slippy as my pseudo all-terrains that are just on the grass. We are going to call it a draw on the tug of war so no one's embarrassed and we're going to go off and do some off-road driving. It's all looking nice if you have a pan round George. We've got the sheep in the field, we've got the, the wind turbines going so we're going to have a cup of tea I think and then we're going to head off and do some green laning. Right we're off so no, no winner on the um, tug of war. We're now off into the Northumberland countryside so it's a cracking view up here. We've got views out and we'll go and do some lanes. 
and we'll get to some muddy bits. We'll get the GoPro fitted on the front. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed some of that drone footage. Um, we've come to a different area now, um, and we're going through some some deep grass. But it's quite interesting. The tow bar is one of Dave's problems there, and you can always you could see it more prominently back there. But there was a, a sort of extra gouge in the middle of the rut. The sort of the tow bars obviously come a cropper on a lot of vehicles. So, but the defender's doing brilliantly, isn't it? It's really impressed. Really impressed. It's doing everything as it always does. And we were just saying it's good to do some off-roading having done some videos lately on sunglass holders which is great and annoying people but it's not really what the defender's about is it right onwards right, we're just on a forestry oh track. my oh. god right, one thing judge so what mode are we in now comfort right but if you put it in sand grass gravel snow sand, the parking sensors are still going but, but Put it in muds and ruts, it turns up. Why do we need parking sensors, Land Rover, in sand and gravel? Okay, so we're all good, we're in high ratio, we got the suspension raised, we've got it on muds and ruts, and we're off. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah My truck, look, it looks like a monster truck. Look at, the, next to it. Next to look at the height. It's just gone mental. And what it is, is we've just gone through that big flood there and it started to float or something. And it came up with a message on the screen. I'd not seen it before. And it said like extended mode suspension. So look at that. That's how much clearance you can get. But there's no way to manually select it. You can't get that. Um, but when it thinks you need it or it sends you found it out, Look what the stick does! Tiny next to it. Just like goes wah. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away, as you fade away, friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay. 
Right, another thing we're doing some off-road is doing some product testing. So we're testing out the new winch carrier that's magnetic. We looked at that earlier, but that hasn't fallen off yet. And we've been doing all that bouncing off-roading. And we've also put our, our new ladder, uh, sorry, our new spade mount on, which just clips in here. And we're just going to road test that and see whether that will stay on on the next section of off-road. Whoa, this is cool. We're in the middle of the foresty bit. We're brushing against the trees a bit. That's a cool little track. And look at this beautiful wall. Dry stone wall next to us. It's a bit more rutted here, but it's doing okay. And you can see the ground clearance on the um, Mitsubishi in front. It's not too bad. The tow bar's the Achilles heel of it. Again, there's like a central groove in some of this rut in here. But it's quite clean lines underneath. Right, so we've been doing a bit more. We've just had a look. I think we've caught it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but judging by the amount of mud I've got under here, it looks like I've gotten through another sidebar again. I think we've scraped it. But I'm going to recommend side steps every time because they kind of take one for the team. They protect the side of your car. But you can see there from the angle there, it kind of goes up and you can see this has all gone out here. But it's all on, it's all solid. It's not going to fall off. That'll get us home. This is a bit different. We've got everything. We've been on the moors, we've been through the water, and now we're going through the sort of enchanted forest. So this is a narrow little track. It's like the lanes in France, isn't it? We're going... Now, we're, we're about 10 centimetres wider than uh, Mitsubishi, but I think we're going to be all right. There's a bit of scratching going on. Whoa. That's a bump. A bit of a lean. He's leaning a bit. Oh, watch out. Don't get scratched. Don't get scratched. The holly. Here it goes. Oh, oh. Now, it'll polish out. All right. The Mitsubishi's doing well. The Stig's faultless, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's just taking everything in its stride. What did you say about the Freelander 2, though? Yeah, we were, I was saying to George, I said, I reckon the Freelander 2 could have done 90% of what we've done today. George said it could have done a hundred percent of what we've done today, so maybe we'll have to try. Oh my word! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh, this Whoa. is cool. And it goes through a river. Well, that's flowing some as well. 
Bulls just have to hang back because of momentum for this. Yeah. I reckon Jimmy's put you in Wade oh, mode. Or is he doing it? He's trying to grapple up there. Yeah, put me in Wade mode. Oh, he did it. He right. did it. Right, we come on, in, Stick. We're in Wade mode. We're in Wade mode. Let's have a look. What if we get hyper suspension? Here we go. Look at the river, George. It's oh. beautiful. We're in a river. Oh. Right, climb out, climb out. Easy light one. Easy light one. Whatever goes down must come up. So we've just gone through that river. Um, yeah, the, you could see in that that I drifted sideways, but we're going up first. Um, and we've got it in rock crawls. So we've had to select low ratio. We're doing 14 degrees right now. But it's on slippy, muddy surface with ruts. With huge banks beside us. But it's got it. There it goes. It's picked, it's got quite a low gear ratio, hasn't it, for this rock crawl? Mm. That is the high revs. Yeah. Well, go on, get around. I don't know if rock crawl was necessarily the right mode to go for. No, I just thought because we were like, there are some rocks under the surface and we're sort of crawling uphill. But it's got it, well, incline, it's. Okay. Okay, 10 degree incline. 10 degree, now. which is not. It's not nothing it's major. It's not major, but with slippy hard, surface. Yeah, it's the condition that makes it hard. But again, right, how's Dave doing behind? Is he, he's, he's fine? Yeah, 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 he's there. Uh, yep, and Mitsubishi is doing everything. Really impressed Mitsubishi. Yeah, we can't knock it. It's done everything the Defender can do. Now, let me see if I can use paddle shift, because it seems like the gear is too low. Yeah, you can use the paddle shift in low ratio, which is, so if you think the the gear is, is selected for rock crawls a bit low, you. It gives you that even in low ratio, which is really cool. I really like the paddle shift in low ratio. All right, that's it. All right, looks like we're downhill again now. Scratchy, look at this, George. Where is, can you hear that scratching? Oh, oh. Our paintwork's gone. I think the paintwork's gone. We're going to have to get it wrapped, George. Oh, yeah, even I can. Really? We sandpapered the side of our car, George. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. You sure it hasn't just scratched the mud off? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh well, here we go. Right, so that is the end of our day out. So how did we do? I think we had a really good day out. We managed to do loads of stuff, river crossings, and both cars have performed really well. The tug of war, we can't decide which one's better. Today there is no loser. We're both winning today. So really impressed with the Mitsubishi Pajero slash Shogun, Shogun even. Um, really impressed with the Defender. Um, our product testing's gone well. Our winch mount, shout out to Zach. Although we did notice one problem with it. I, I put the rope down here and we had like this black line on our 360 camera system. I couldn't work out what it was, but it was, but it tried to blank it out, didn't it? It did really well. Um, so obviously we need to mount that or we need to have a, a feature to keep it away from the, the camera. Um, the spade stayed on the top, look, and it even picked up some, it's even picked up some twigs, so 
when we were going off-roading it, it it that's that's done its job i wouldn't recommend using it on the road or on the motorway but we'll get something developed for that as a clip to go on everything else is doing well so i hope you enjoy it thank you to rachel and dave for inviting us out and going out and planning the route it was a fantastic route hope you enjoy the video